Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Spakovo. Yes, we are following on a very much directly after the previous episode. Uh, not a lot has been done since then. Uh, in fact, pretty much nothing has been... Well, no, that's not, not entirely true. If I put it in the correct gear, we'll see that something has changed. Uh, the money has gone down a bit for two main reasons. One, as you can see here, we've got a lovely new harrow on the back of our tractor. Oh yes, it all went uh, uh, a, a bit interesting. <laughs> the uh, previous cultivator we had, uh, it was digging up massive stones. And I mean like honking great big ones. The sort of stones you would get if you were subsoiling or um, spading. That, that sort of thing, and it really shouldn't have been. So what I elected to do was purchase a new one, uh, well, sell the old one, and purchase a new one for, I think about 400 euros, was the, uh, oh, there's a patch that I've missed, was the, um, the sort of uh, over, overage, whatever you call it. Uh, yeah, we sold one for like 600, and bought the other one for, oh, well, actually it was about 500, yeah. Uh, we bought one for a thousand or eleven hundred, I think this this new one, and the old one sold for about six hundred and fifty, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not counting correctly, but uh, yeah, I figured we needed something that was going to be a little bit better for us, since uh, all we need specifically right now is a little bit of grass harrowing done. And I see all these little tufty bits that I missed. Because, as I said, uh, we have decided to go ahead and replant this as sorghum. Uh, and that's the other reason the um, ch uh, the money's gone down. We had to buy more chicken feed again. They are some very hungry little cluckers over there. <laughs> yes, they have been uh, munching away on their food. And I think we're now up to a full complement of 60. And I think they are all female ones as well so uh, we will have to uh, keep an eye on that the egg production seems to have been increasing a little bit so long as we remember to give them food so i figured we'd uh, have a crack at this get this field uh, cultivated and seeded and then we've got uh, all those contracts to get on with the uh, baling ones that we sort of started i guess last time we did the one sort of test field which was completely balked uh, in so far as uh, it was 80% completed when we got the contract and was all very strange. But uh, yeah, if you didn't happen to see that, do go check out the last episode uh, and you'll see the uh, confusion over that whole <laughs> bailing contract. But uh, we didn't take uh, all the straw or overdo it, I don't, I don't think anyway. But... Um, yeah, so that's all all good, so we'll carry on with that, uh, possibly towards the end of May, and then again into June, definitely. This contract should last into June, no problem. But, uh, yeah, so this is, this is where we're at. The bees have been going nuts over there. Uh, it looks like, yeah, that's another entirely full pallet of honey. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to lob that on the back of this quick and take it back down with us because there's already two pallets now down in the garage and that will be the third one so we'll plonk that on there is there going to be another one pop out yeah we'll come back we'll be back up here in a minute so we'll see oh i got out of it again but yeah we've got uh, three full pallets of honey now that is quite impressive. So yeah, it hasn't popped out yet, but it might do in the not too distant future. Yeah, this extra little bit of weight on the harrow won't cause too much problems. It's not gonna not gonna dig in deep or anything. Luckily, the honey that these bees produce uh, is not too heavy. Some bees make very heavy honey. This honey is uh, is the lighter. Yoss liftable honey <laughs> for anyone that was wondering. Yes, yeah, the uh, liftable pallets mod by Yoss. 
our good friend Yoss. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we've got three full pallets of honey now. So there's a spot of income that we can uh, get if we need to. Yeah, that may have to be what we use to uh, pay for some of this chicken feed in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to get this uh, finished just doing this little bit of harrowing. And uh, then we'll come back and uh, we'll get this seeded with sorghum. So I'll see you a little bit further into that process, probably, I think. I mean, we're just about done with this. Oh, and I do need to get a screenshot as well for the old thumbnail here. So That's a nice one. I like that. Lots of good picture opportunities in this uh, on this map and with this equipment. <laughs> I don't know. I just love these little old tractors for some reason. Yeah. They're not always the most effective, but they do get the job done. Which would make them quite effective, so don't listen to me, I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, one more little pass up there and we will be good. I think that part of his uh, just side terrain, so we won't worry about that. Uh, yep, there we go. I think that's it. Should be everything done. And this um, this little harrow I did find is. Uh, if I turn that back on, it's uh, it is actually a Polish brand as well. Um, I forget for the life of me the name of it off the top of my head. I think it's something like a firm style something like that we'll check when we come to disconnect it but uh, it's actually quite it's you know quite a nice little uh, grass harrow type thing to excuse the uh, spooky notifications there just discord binging at me because i forgot to turn it off oh yes firm style harrow number three hey hey it's a three meter cultivator there we go that's awesome Okay, so I need to get this cedar underway. Hopefully we've got enough seed. Well, in fact, I might uh, need to remember to refill with some grease as well before we go too far. Probably do that before we hit the um, baling contracts, I think. So we are set to sorghum. Lovely. Just need to squeeze it out of there. Excellent. And, oh, did we just... Oh yeah, that's right, I bought the seed back, didn't I? I'm not sure if I actually said that the last time. Uh, when we bought the um, Cavernaland thing, the uh, hay fork thing from the back of the... Uh, when we bought that back last episode, uh, you can actually use it to sort of pick up pallets with, which is kind of handy. So I bought the uh, the rest of our seed back down with us. So, yes. Now, this stuff, I don't know how much it's going to take for fertiliser. So we might have to grab a couple of bags of fertiliser to come back down with. In fact, I could hop out and have a quick look. What does that say? Oh, crumbs, that's bad. Yeah, we are going to need to uh, hit that with a, a good old whack of fertiliser. I'll have to keep our eyes out for a slurry spreader as well, because something like that would be useful. I'm pretty sure we can get our hands on some cheap slurry or digestate. And uh, obviously once we get the pigs up and running proper, then uh, we'll have slurry and uh, possibly manure from them as well. It all depends on what we can do with... Uh, getting a harvester. I've been putting the... Uh, oh, missed a bit there. I'll catch that later. Uh, I've been putting the feelers out for a potential one to rent and uh, we may have found one in, uh, in Shpakovo. There are farmers that have harvesters and some of them are willing to... That is seeding, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's just the dust. 
and yeah there are some farmers around the area that would be willing to rent us theirs later on in the year when when we need it so we'll uh, we'll talk to them a little bit more and see what options become available because i think that's going to be the uh, the best option for right now is to just rent one or borrow you know one of the local ones that way we can always help them with uh, some of their fields in the future as well. But uh, obviously the main goal is to buy our own. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a massive great big one. Just a little small, uh, small harvester would work fine. Uh, perhaps once we get a, uh, a bigger tractor or a second tractor that's got a little bit more horsepower we could get a... Uh, pull along corn harvester so we wouldn't need uh, an extra header. It's all very exciting. <laughs> we're slowly starting to build up our machinery now. Uh, in fact we're going to have to look at getting um, some more shed space somewhere as well. I don't know if there's uh, any area in the woods that we could um, use back there with the pigs. Possibly. We shall have to see. I mean we could potentially put a uh, small shed up at the end of uh, end of this field as well ne next to the bees in that sort of nubbin that we've got right at the tippy top uh, which we're heading up to right now in fact so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> get off my field dear yeah this sort of little nubbin up here we might be able to just get a little open shed it's basically a roof and some doesn't even have to have any walls on it could just literally be a roof on some legs that we can uh, put some oh i didn't lift it that's why i was being a pain uh, yeah just a, a roof that we could put some tools under maybe yeah that's uh that's definitely going to be an option i think yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes and yeah, there's uh it all costs money, unfortunately, and we need to make sure we've got a uh, good source of income going. You know, we have proven that uh, this does yield quite a nice amount of silage, or grass for silage. So um, that's something we may do in between crops. Uh, we are probably going to do another root crop at some point, uh, depending on. Actually, we'll have a look at that in a second. That field over yonder he says gesticulating at the screen that none of you can actually see so it's not going to help uh, the little field that we did the contract on uh, last episode the uh, little fertilizing contract that is potentially a field we could buy uh, let's run over and have a quick look because i think it's got parsnips in it parsnips or carrots yeah parsnips Let's have a quick look at the old map information. Oh yeah, there's our two contracts up there. And that contract down there, the little grass field. Uh, this is field 45. It's, ooh, it's only nine grand. That's interesting. And how long does that have before it's finished growing? A couple more months at least. So... Yeah, if we could get nine grand, or let's say ten, call it ten grand, if we could get ten grand, we could technically buy this field offer and uh, get the crop out of it. Although usually they wouldn't sell it with crop in it, so yeah, we'll we'll have a think about that. That that might be doing the people of Spakovo a bit of a dirty. So we'll we'll see. Maybe we'll wait till it's finished harvesting. Because it's not like we've got potatoes, uh, we don't have potatoes that we can plant in there again. Or uh, even something else. In fact, we do need to buy that cedar as well. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop prattling on. And we're going to get this finished and head over and start work on those fantastic uh, baling contracts. So what I might do is... Oh, we don't have any more bee juice yet. That's good. Uh, what I'll probably do is get this finished and then uh, we might have a little bit of a montage of uh, mowing and baling goodness. Yeah, we'll see how that goes.
guessed it, it happened again. Yes, I'm just bringing the second uh, load of oil over to refill the tractor. Because, yes, I forgot to pay attention to the... Uh, are you going to fill up or no? Oh, it has. Okay, there's a little bit left in that now. 20 litres, so we'll take that back to the farm later on. We'll just pop it over here out of the way for now with the mowers and stuff so I can see it. Uh, but yes, as you saw there in the old montage, we got uh, got quite a lot of bales out of this. <laughs> yeah, we ran out of oil. Um, I figured out what it is. Uh, I'm pointing at the screen down at the speedometer there on the bottom right corner. It says next oil change at 23.07 hours, which is the working hours on this tractor. Now, I had not realised, well, I sort of did see it, but at the same time I just ignored it or forgot or something. But basically what that's saying is uh, when I hit 23 working hours, it'll run out of oil again. So, yeah, we just need to keep an eye on that and hopefully it won't happen again. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, we've got uh, quite a lot of bales. If I pop the screen up, it should say there. Yeah, we've top left. We've got 65 bales total made now. Uh, so if we take 14 off from the uh, original the previous contract that we did, then uh, that will take us down to 51 bales so far we've created. And I'm trying to get one more out of this. There should be enough little tufty bits lurking around, I think. We should be able to get another 178 litres. This is probably going to be a large portion of it. Well, maybe not a large enough portion, but some nonetheless. All these little bales floating around. I'm going to have a devil of a time picking these up. And I may have to look at getting, a, or not getting a bigger trailer, but bringing a bigger trailer down with me. Uh, I was going to use the other, um, another small trailer again, like I did with the last contract. But that might not be, uh, might not be big enough. At the very least, we'd have to make two trips, probably. A bit more there. I think there's a bit more up by this thing. That might be the extra bit we need if I can get it to pick that up. No, I don't think it is. I'm sort of getting stuck on the thing now too. <laughs> now we've got a little bit of it. Oh, we're 103 litres short. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry too much about that. So what I will do now is eject the uh, spare ones. Uh, there we go. 66, 67. Okay, so 53 is what we've made off of just this field alone. That's that's pretty good. And now we've got to put them all on a trailer. <laughs> oh dear, that's going to be fun. Uh, well, I'll hop down to the farm quick and grab... Uh, I think we'll try it with a little trailer first see how it does and uh, can I wedge this canister of oil behind the uh, back seat there might fit oh yeah it's uh, well maybe we can just throw it on the floor that'll help it's now under the tractor <laughs> I was gonna say maybe I could wedge it in the footwell here but I don't think it's going to let me Pop it on the front here, maybe. Yeah. Oops, forwards. Maybe that'll stay there for the duration of the trip. <laughs> yeah, once this is all done, we will definitely need to get our tractor serviced because it is quite low on the old uh, uh, maintenance department there. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yes. But anyway, uh, we are going to get a trailer, and I'll see you back at that field in a bit, once it's loaded. We'll see how many bales we get on it. 
Alright, we are back. Oops, I'm making a mess of it now that I've started recording again. That's typical. <laughs> I think I'm, yeah, I'm getting stuck standing up on bales. That's what was doing it. Uh, yep, yeah, so we got the little trailer up just as a uh, sort of test, I suppose you could say. <laughs> uh, and it's actually doing quite well. We've got uh, a total of, it's going to be... 24 bales, I think. Well, we've got an extra one here. Plonk that on the top. 25 bales. Yeah, it's uh, 6, 12, 18, 24 plus 1. 25. There we go. And we might as well put the rest of the straps on just for safety. Uh, now I'll just check where we are delivering this to. I'm going to assume, yep, yeah, it is the Dadex cell point. So we shall head down there and see what happens. This is roughly half the field, I suppose you could say. So hopefully it's going to be a good amount of the contract. Oh, cracky. Sorry, mate. And you've gone and got wedged under my wheel, haven't you? I suppose I should have lights on too. It's starting to get a bit dark now. The sun is going down in the sky. And we are going to bung a left, so I'll put on the indicator. Not that anyone can see it past the old hay bales there, but <laughs> hopefully he got a whiff of that. Turn it off now. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, aside from the oil mishap, that did go quite well. Yeah, it's not going to be a, a quick job, obviously, with using small equipment and trying not to do massive fields. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is working out nicely, I think. Yeah. We'll see how much this uh, equates to in terms of a contract. I mean, 15,000 litres of hay is not to be sniffed at. Um, it may or may not complete the contract for us. I genuinely do not know. But we are going to find out momentarily. And just coming up to the cell point now. Let's find out how much this does for us. Now, I would imagine if it does complete the contract, it'll just roll straight into delivering for the next one. And that's fine. Let's see. Good grief. Um, okay then. I mean, I know bathing contracts are usually pretty decent, but we've just done 100% for field 31, or 32. And, which one was that? Oh, of course, it blooming applies it to that one, doesn't it? No, wait, hang on. Okay, it applied it to that one first. And now it's, oh, that's... <laughs> Well, that's strange. How bizarre. Okay, well, let's grab the rest of these and uh, see what contract this applies to. Well, that was entertaining, wasn't it? So, yeah, we've completed the um, delivery portion for the contract on field 46, which is not bad. And we did 54%, I think it said, of the delivery contract for... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just popped up there. 63 and 80 for field 32. Now, field 32 is the one that we mowed, so that's good. This is the only problem with taking multiple bailing contracts for the uh, same product to the same sell point. Um, it can't be helped. You know, it's not a big deal. I'm not, not complaining about it. It's uh, a feature of the game, has been and probably will continue to be because um, the products that you're getting aren't assigned directly to the field. So if it's hay from three fields, then it'll just put it on whatever it wants to. <laughs> but nonetheless, it does look like um, this is going to be a, a viable option, and the baler will be helpful for us as well. Um, I'm kind of nervous now as to how much hay we are going to get off of all this. And you know, like I say, bailing contracts, they usually do pay out pretty good and give you a solid um, bonus material at the end of it as well. So, you 
here. This, I don't think, this isn't bug like the um, the potato contracts were. And the, those potato fields that were giving us like 200,000 litres of spuds. Yeah, the, this isn't an issue like that. I think this is just baling contracts being baling contracts. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's, I don't know if it's done anything different because we've got the... Um, the baby bales rather than full-size bales I don't think it does because if I remember it sort of works on um, capacity rather than bale count if that makes sense so like it'll be um, the literage of hay rather than the number of bales I'm just shuffling some of these down a little bit closer so it's uh, slightly quicker trying to load them in of course, it's not going entirely to plan, but hey ho. <laughs> ah, a hey joke. Yes. Less said about that, the better. But it has proved that, uh, like I say, this is working quite nicely. So, what I'm going to do is load this up with all the rest of the bales, get them off of this part of the field, and uh, I'll see you again down at the cell point. Ew, crumbs, that didn't go well. Yeah, I, I kind of wish it wouldn't just automatically lurch me up onto the the trailer like that. I know it can't be helped, but sometimes it does get really awkward. <laughs> you know, all I want to do is push him back a little bit, and then he jumps me up and yeets everything into the sky. Okay, that works. Yeah, so long as we can get six on the... Uh, Six on per row, we should be solid. And this one is... Five, I think. And two, five, yeah. Just let that one drop down again. Uh, yep, so I shall continue doing this. And uh, I'll see you when we get back. And we are about to, about to get to the sell point to get all these lovely bales delivered slash soul slash who knows what's going to happen <laughs> alrighty we are back and we are rumbling down the road with another trailer full of bales and you know I think this little trailer actually works okay for this and we've got uh, 28 bales I think yeah 28 bales on this one 16,800 litres of lovely lovely fresh hay now, I don't know what this is going to do. I'm assuming it's going to finish the contract on field 31 and probably put a good portion of the contract on field um, 33. Was it 31? 32 and 33, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it should, uh, should finish that one out completely and then it's going to put uh, the majority of it what's left onto that. Now whether it's going to finish the delivery portion of that one too, I don't know. But let's find out. Here we go. Bosh. Okay, we've finished... Oh, it was a contract for Yankus. Nice. So yeah, we've feel, uh, finished field 32. We've transported 62% of field 33, so that means, uh, yeah, basically, um, we're going to end up with an awful lot of hay bales after all of this. Now, some of them I might actually keep, because I have been pondering getting goats. Now, it might be a bit too soon to keep them because uh, we don't actually have goats nor do we have anywhere to put them so yeah that that's going to be a, a thing but that, that was something future me will be thinking about potentially getting some goats or maybe even a small cow shed put up somewhere and uh, hay obviously will be quite useful for either of those I don't think the pigs take hay sadly and I know the chickens don't but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hang on to that. Um, oh, well, actually, no, we'll probably sell the majority of it, realistically. Because, it, you know, I don't anticipate us getting goats or sheep or cows anytime soon. But that is a, a future plan that we are 
we are thinking about some more animals. I mean, we haven't even got the pigs started yet, so I'm not quite sure what I'm banging on about at this point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, what do we want to do? Do we want to call it there? I tell you what, um, I'll get uh, the contract on field 31 finished, and uh, we'll come back in June. I probably should get another thing of um, food down to the chickens as well. Uh, yeah, well, I think we'll finish up. That's that's what I'm going to do. So I'll buy uh, another thing of chicken feed, get the chickens fed, have a little nap, come back in June, finish the contract on field 31. Uh, I'll do the work off camera since we had the lovely uh, montage there. And uh, we'll come back in June uh, as we are delivering bales for... Uh, well, I don't know what that's doing down there. Um, yeah, we'll do bales for, um, uh, what am I saying? Yes, oh, contract on field 33. Yeah, we'll get that finished and, um, come back as we're delivering the bales off of that so you can see what we get in terms of, uh, profit off of that one contract, which I'm thinking is probably going to be quite a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll get this loaded in here and I'll see you in... June when it's a little bit lighter. Alrighty, we are back. It's June. There's half a field of bales left down there. And I'm bringing the first load of this second contract up to the old sales point up here. In fact, I should check, make sure we are going to the right place. That would be awfully awkward of me. Uh, yes, Derek's sale point. Oh, they all go there. That's right, we discovered that last time, didn't we, when I turned it in and it went for um, half of the other contract. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the plan is we're going to turn this lot in, see what happens, um, which contract it goes to... Well, no, it can only go to the one contract, can't it? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the whole field is done, dusted, hayed and baled. And, uh, yeah, it's going to finish at least in some of this contract. I don't know if this load is going to do the entirety of the delivery. It might do. We've still got at least this many to bail, uh, to put on the trailer over there, so... I don't know. I guess we'll uh, see what this one does and then figure it out from there. Because at the moment... All we've got left to do on the field down near us is just mow it. And depending on how how this goes, if we need to bring more over here, that's fine. Um, if we're going to need to bring nothing more, if this basically completes delivery for all the contracts, then we're going to have a decision to make regarding all the rest of the uh, actual bales that are there. Did I? Oh no, I didn't come around the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to make a decision what to do with bales and stuff, so let's have a look and see what this gets us. Well, it got us 612 euros is what it got us. <laughs> so we've completed the contract for Herbert now, that's good. So, yeah, we can cash both of those out in just a second here. And then all we need to do is bale, uh, is mow field 46. We don't technically even need to bale that one. So that's a little bit of a concern. Partly because, and I think this is just hay. I don't think this is us doing anything weird. I don't think this is a bug specifically or anything like that. I think it's just because it's a hay contract. And a lot of these grass work contracts do tend to have a lot of stuff left over. So if we are going to have an entire field's worth of hay to sell, then um, yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes. So uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do with the other contract is basically just mow that and call it good. Because yeah, we'll maybe take uh, an entire trailer to sell and then call it quits on the con the other two contracts and just leave whatever's there out there. I think they actually stay out there because we've bailed them though. That's the only tiny concern. But uh, who knows, maybe we'll just put them off to the side somewhere out of the way 
and not worry about them. But yeah, I have a feeling since we've bailed them already, uh, then they will stay on the field even once we've uh, we've done um, completed the contract. So uh, let me get a trailer load of these together, and we'll see what's left, and we'll see about selling it. I think is what we'll do. So no one's coming, so we're just going to zoom straight across and load up a bunch more of these into, yeah, I mean, there's easily another trailer of um, 28 here, and then some, I think. So, yeah, we didn't even pick up all the bits of straw, um, hay floating around. So, uh, yeah, I'll get on with loading this again, and we'll see where we are, what's left, all that sort of stuff. Alrighty then, we are coming back down to the cell point here with another trailer load. And there are 16, I think, more bales left, was what I counted, on the field. Now, we're probably going to get a couple of grand for this, this trailer load, maybe. So, I'm thinking what we're going to do is just stack those bales off to the side. We'll cash in the contracts and see what's, uh, what's up there. And uh, if it deletes the bales, then it deletes the bales off the field with it. Uh, if not, I'll just push them off to the side, out the way, I think. Or maybe sell them. It depends on what we get for this load, so let's check that. Bosh. Uh, 900. Okay, that's not so bad, then. Uh, in that case, if we sold it was a bit more than half, so we get another 500-ish euros for that. Eh, no, I think we're going to put that off, just push them off to the side, because otherwise that would be a little bit excessive, I think. Uh, oh, crumbs. That was an odd time for it to, uh, good lord, it's gone down again. That's interesting, because we'd uh, repaired this thing, it's not got any faults listed on it. Uh, I did actually repair it, I, I'd forgot to say. Uh, before we could get started in the morning, I want to say there was a little bit of rain. And, um, was there rain? Yeah, I think there was a little bit of rain, right when I first got up. So what I did was I took the tractor in and gave it a repair. And uh, got the, uh, the one fault that it had repair head for. It was something pretty simple. Um, it only cost like 180 euros, something like that. So for it to be down halfway already is a little worrying, but then again we have been uh, doing a lot of work with this little tractor. So yeah, but uh, we're still looking at maybe getting a uh, front loader for it that is still on the cards and uh, potentially even a cabin. But, uh, yeah, sort of a, a cab of some sort. But we'll, uh, we'll see about that, because um, obviously you know, I kind of want to restore it a bit to its former glory. So even if we end up um, buying uh, an upgrade in the not too distant future, then we'd at least still have this to putter around and do some little odd jobs here and there. But yeah, these are all the bales we've got left here, and there's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it weren't had about 16, so I don't think we're going to sell those. Uh, what I am going to do is cash in those two contracts. One and two. Which gives us... Yeah, it didn't take the bales, but it did take the... Uh, the stuff. The um, excess hay that was there. So I think what we'll do for now is... I don't think there are any really cheap bale storage things, are there? Probably not. Not that we could put one down for sale, uh, for use around here anyway, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, they're all pretty expensive by the look of it. I thought I saw something, but no, I did not. Piles of stuff. I thought there was a little tarpaulin one, but maybe I don't have that one loaded. Hmm. Oh no, that's a silo. 
bunker silo, I should say. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. I know I'm sort of skipping through them pretty quick. Oh, here we are. I mean, we could potentially uh, flop one of those down for a tiny little bit of money. And then put them on that. Yeah, that might work. Let's do that. Just for the sake of... Uh, oh, crumbs. That hasn't gone well, has it? That did not go as planned. Might have to, because we're not in that field, that's their grass field. Might have to do a bit of landscaping. That would cost money, and will it even take these? It has taken it. Okay. Well, in that case, what I'm going to do is get this fixed. And we'll leave this as a little um, storage point that we can use for uh, any excess bales like this that we get from contracts. Particularly if we're doing this field again, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'll get that sorted out, get the ground worked out around it a bit. And uh, get all this loaded into it. And uh, yeah, we shall return another day. So uh, yeah, I do hope you've all enjoyed whatever this was and uh, if you have do please hit the old like button there too and uh, hit the like button and subscribe too if you haven't already and uh, comments are we already always welcomed and if you would like to share this video that would be greatly appreciated and on that note i shall bid you all farewell <laughs> cheerio everyone